Okay, so continuing on with the cylinder head. In order to properly uh, clean and service this cylinder head, we need to not only remove the valves, but also the rockers. Arms need to be removed. Consulting the manual, it states that um, when removing rocker arm shaft, remove the rocker arm shaft set bolts, number one, and plug number two and screw the eight millimeter bolt into the rocker arm shaft and pull it out. So this right here is the, you can see it, this is the eight millimeter bolt that is talking about. So the manual is stating to remove this bolt and then remove this lock nut here and then put this bolt in to pull the shaft out is what it's saying. Now what I wanna do is we need to keep these in order. This face that you see on this rock shaft which sits on the cam lobe, they are again seated to each other and we need to maintain this rock arm in this position so that when the camshaft goes back in, it's as if nothing happened and they're properly seated. So what we will do is we will remove these rocker arm shafts as directed by the manual and these we will bag and tag them so they're in the same spot. So remember this is the intake side, this is cylinder number one, number two, number three, and number four. So this would be cylinder number one, intake rocker, cylinder number two, intake rocker, three, intake rocker, four, intake rocker. Over on this side, cylinder number one, exhaust, two exhaust, three exhaust, and four exhaust. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go through this step, step by step, and get this done. So I'll get the appropriate tools. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter socket, right there. And let's see what size bolt uh, we've got on. That's very thin. It's gonna be really hard to get off. So I'm gonna gently see if I can take it off using an adjustable wrench. Okay, so it screws on. Doesn't look too bad. These I don't think are end specific. So I'm gonna put those in a baggie. So that's those two off. So let's see what size we're at now. So I think 17 mil is the best we're gonna get. I'm gonna use this ratchet wrench. Uh, it'll grip it a little better and hopefully not strip it. And that got it. So I have to be really careful because it can peel off and it did run down the fins, but it didn't scratch them. So we're removing this bolt now. 17 mil was what fit that. Let's try. Loosening that off. So this again was a 10 millimeter sock. So this is number cylinder three and four on the intake side is what we're working on here. I'm doing this for the sake of the video. It's easier to see. It's now finger loose. So intake three and four side for the end piece in this bolt. So in here it says that we need an eight millimeter bolt. This is an eight millimeter bolt that I have Put this wash here for safekeeping. Sitting around, will it reach? So you screw this in. Maybe we'll use a rag in there just to prevent scratching. So you can see now the bolt is beginning to come out. I can screw it in a little further. Help me to pull that. And you can see the shaft is moving here now. So you can see the shaft moving right there. It's moving, so. All right, so let's get things ready. So we're gonna need a baggie for, so this is cylinder three, 
intake rocker. So as I pull this out, slides out a little bit, it has cleared the rocker. So there's a spring here and the rocker arm. So there's the rocker and the spring. So the spring and the rocker go in there. So we're ready to take out number four now. So what I'll do is I'll store the shaft with cylinder number four intake rocker. So there's the shaft out. It's the final shaft. We'll unscrew the eight millimeter bolt because we'll need that for the next one. It can go in the baggie as well. Out comes the rocker and the spring. So you keep doing this for all the rest of them. Again, this is just going to sit in a box until we're ready to reinstall it. So that's how you remove the rockers and the shafts. I'm going to do that for the rest of the head and tag it, bag it, tag it, get it ready. As you can see, this is now clean and open, easy to access to the valves. So one thing I want to draw your attention to so you can notice here that the spring on this side is to the right of the rocker. So the spring is positioning the rocker directly over the valves. Here, again, it's the same thing. And if we switch to this side, again, on this side of the engine is to the left and it's to the left here. So we can say that this spring actually faces on its respective side is on the outboard side of the engine.